I'm Lindsay Dyer. I'm a professional big mountain skier here in Jackson, Wyoming. I've been a professional athlete now for a long time and I've only recently found the courage to start talking about the thing that I care the most about in terms of being in the mountains and that's the wildlife. My name is Jason Wilmot. I'm the wildlife biologist for the Bridger Teton National Forest Jackson District. We live in a special place and we've got a lot of elk, deer, and moose around here and we have places on the forest that are wide open to skiing and we have places that are specialized and important to, to animals and wildlife. I'm just so psyched to go out for a day and ask you all my questions and figure out the best way we can support our wildlife. It's a beautiful day. I'm excited to get up there. I think if we go to that knob on the west, that's where the wildlife closure starts and if we come down east this side of the closure that would be doing the right thing so we're at right here in town this is snow king but on the west edge of snow king mountain there's just purple stuff so the purple is no go between december 1st and april 30th that is area that's reserved for elk mule deer and moose for winter range so we'll be able to tell if we're on that line to post our sign i'm going to put this sign up today great just because i'm pretty sure there's not one there yet and we need one up there so we'll go post that on that ridge. So what exactly is, is this sign meaning and how important is it for us to stay out of these winter zones? It's very important, particularly for those elk and mule deer back there. Wildlife 101 is take care of the winter range because that's the most critical time of year. It's the hardest time of year. It's harsh conditions. You imagine living back there all winter long, scraping the snow away to eat some really nutritionally low value, dried up grass from last summer and basically uh, animals are losing weight all winter. It's critical that we stay out of the, out of the purple and respect those closures. I think we should put it here yeah. because this side is ski side. That's where the good snow is. Over here is that south side. We see elk over there. We don't want to disturb them. And then we know that just down this hill is the actual winter range closure, that small section of purple down here in, in this canyon. So at the end of our skin track, we're gonna put this sign here. And what this is trying to do is keep people from going down here into the winter range. We can ski over here. The trends are clear. The future of the Yellowstone system is going to have more people in it and more people recreating. It's our job to take care of this place. We all love to ski. We just got to figure out how to do it in the right way. If we care about wildlife, and most of us do, that that will be part of the way that we talk about skiing that day is where should we go and maybe where should we avoid. The cool thing is that yes, we can be so close to wildlife, but there's still tons of skiing. Like we're not going to go off this ridgeway, but over here we're in the clear. Absolutely. It's better skiing anyway. <laughs>